seventh minute when Jokardi Barre scored. The SPPNG Hunters are enjoying the opportunity of having a few consultants join the team this year. Among the consultants, new general manager Scott Baca, who was part of Wayne Bennett's brain trust for almost two decades as high performance analyst. Papua New Guinea Rugby Football League CEO Stanley Hondina says with the team in Australia, Baka will handle almost all key administrative roles and report back to PNG RFL. He's, he's on a one-year short-term contract. Uh, basically, his job is to run the team, manage the team, provide that oversight, and reports to the board uh, on operational matters. He's more or less an operations on the front of operations, securing sponsors, uh, getting you know the boys on time to play, the camp is in order, uh, other admin support that the support staff need to put around Coach Matt and his team to deliver the program uh, is the go-to person that uh, uh, you know liaises with QRL. The other two consultants were also part of the Brisbane Broncos with Ben Cross, former specialist coach at the Broncos, now in a similar role at the Hunters. The other is Jeremy Hickman, who is a high-performance manager with the Hunters. SPPNG Hunters coach Matthew Church says the three consultants are being paid by funding from the Pacific Oz Sports Program, from the Australian government, and not by PNG RFL. Part of our um, coming to Australia and the support with the Oz Pacific um, Sports Program is that we get some funding. So I've applied for that funding and, and wrote a, a proposal to, to bring these guys on board. So the football content of those three consultants actually is getting funded outside of PNG, and it's not um, going, but the, the funding's not. Um, I guess at cost to PNG Rugby League or to the Hunters. So, um, any time you can resource people of this nature into your program, I think it's, it's value for money. But this is the best money I've never spent. Fidelis Sukina, Trukai Sports.